Windows Sandbox Alternatives For Windows 10 and Windows 11, there are a ton of different sandbox programs, many of which operate somewhat differently and are designed for particular activities. The top ones available for download right now are on our list. First in our list the Bitbox browser in the box or the Bitbox. This tool is specifically designed for web browsing in a sandbox environment. It comes in both Chrome and Firefox flavors and is pretty much a virtual box instance of Linux designed specifically for browsing, which means it's a little more memory demanding than other options. Bitbox has the capability of downloading files to your actual PC, so it's important that you decide whether you want this to happen and set it up appropriately. It takes crucial precautions, like disabling your microphone and monitoring all host Bitbox interactions, making it a solid and secure choice. Second in our list is the Buffer Zone. Buffer Zone is an endpoint sandbox tool, so it may be a good idea to run them through it if you're going to areas of the internet that may be a little risky to your computer security or if someone passes you a USB stick that you're not entirely sure about, that happens to everyone, right? Every major online browser functions well with BufferZone, and it is simple to add more apps to run via it. This has the advantage of requiring less setup work than other sandbox applications, which is a benefit. BufferZone prevents web-based dangerous malware from accessing your PC by keeping your preferred activities in a protected virtual zone. It makes anything you run through it becomes read-only, preventing malicious software from writing itself on your hard disk. Third in our list is the Sandboxy. One of the most well-known and often used tools for isolating programs from the underlying Windows operating system is Sandboxy. The fact that Sandboxy is completely free and lightweight is a nice feature. Almost any Windows program may be installed and operated with Sandboxy. You may use Sandboxy to run any already installed program, such as your web browser, in addition to installing software inside of it. All you have to do is select Sandbox, Default Box, Run Sandboxed, Run Web Browser. If you want to run any other application, select Run Any Program. A broad yellow border will surround the window when you run an application in Sandbox mode to indicate that you are doing so. The commercial edition of Sandboxy has all the capabilities that the free version does not, such as the ability to operate numerous sandboxes and required apps. The free version, however, ought to be adequate for the average home user. Fourth in our list is the Shade Sandbox. Shade Sandbox is another well-liked, cost-free sandboxing program. Shade's user interface is far more clear, easy to use, and beginner-friendly than sandboxes. Simply drag and drop a program into the Shade Sandbox window to sandbox it. The program will be automatically sandboxed the next time you run it. All of your browsing history, temporary files, cookies, Windows registry, system files, etc. are effectively segregated from the operating system while utilizing Shade Sandbox. The Virtual Downloads folder, which can be accessed from inside the Shade interface, will house any files downloaded while using Shade. Shade Sandbox is the sandbox program for you if you want one with an easier user interface. Fifth in our list is the Toolways Time Freeze. The aforementioned sandbox programs operate substantially differently from how Toolways Time Freeze does. When Toolways Time Freeze is installed, it makes a virtual duplicate of all of your system settings and files and stores the state. Simply reboot the machine after utilizing the program you wish to test, and it will be instantly restored. When you want to properly test a software without any restrictions but don't want the program to alter the host operating system, this kind of application might be quite helpful. Sixth in our list is the Shadow Defender. The tool with time freeze is identical to Shadow Defender. You will be requested to virtualize your system disk and any other drives of your choice when you install and initialize the program. Any modifications performed after the system has been virtualized are undone the next time the system reboots. Naturally, you can always specify which files and folders shadow mode should not apply to. This gives you the flexibility to decide which modifications to keep and which to drop. Simply click the Commit Now button in the main window to commit to a system modification or save a downloaded file while in shadow mode. Hope you like this video. All the link is on the description below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.